What's the single most ridiculous conspiracy theory you've ever heard? That Satan buried dinosaur bones to deceive humanity into believing the earth is vastly older than a couple thousand years. I have encountered people who wholeheartedly believe that. Astronomer here. Flat Earth is pretty well known, but the one that really got to me is I legit met someone once who insisted to me that planets don't exist like Venus, Jupiter, etc. This confused me greatly because you can see planets with your own eyes, and in hindsight maybe I was a bit rude saying that. Just because she doesn't know stars well enough to spot the ones that move doesn't mean we all are. But whatever, I'm still confused about that one. I later learned from others that this is actually a more popular conspiracy theory than you'd think in some churches in the southern USA. I still don't get why though. When I first heard of the flat earth wackus I was fascinated. I eventually found myself on one of the message boards. One thread was about airplanes and how the pilots were in on it. At some point a believer who was also a pilot was trying to fit the theory in with his own experience. One thing he couldn't figure out was a flight to Japan he made twice a week. His plane would have to go supersonic for much of the journey for the flight time to match up with their world map. This is when I found out about the fake Japan that the Freemasons made. You see what happens is there's a fake Japan much closer to wherever this guy was flying from. Only the airport was a real building. Most of the passengers were actors. The few people really trying to get to Japan were drugged before leaving the airport and put on a whole other plane to finish the journey. And these guys just accepted that as the answer. In order to keep this pilot in the flat camp they just invented a whole island and added hundreds of actors to the conspiracy. Saddam Hussein had a Stargate. Not even so much that he had one. But if the most powerful military in the world is invading wouldn't that be the time to use it? How he even had a second chance to fire it up. That a girl in high school legitimately believed the shots all the girls had to get are the cause of why women's bodies typically can't have children after a certain age. And that it is the government trying to fight over population. She believed that if you didn't get a shot you could easily live and have a baby healthfully at age 60 or more. Cheese producers are in league with the plastic companies. I'm not talking about the craft slices are one third plastic stuff, either. Ever notice that most products are wrapped in an almost unterrible plastic? Packing can stand up to anything but a direct flame. Right. So, how come blocks of cheese are wrapped in plastic that always tears, exposing and drying out your cheese? Big Cheese pays the plastic companies to make shoddy plastic packing for cheese to increase cheese consumption. I had someone at my school that had to take a robot baby home for a few days for a health class. He had had a massive tantrum about it being spyware from the government. The dude was 18. I pointed out that he had a phone which was more likely to be a government spy device. He screams at me that I'm wrong and had fallen into the government. He then accuses me of working for the government to spy on him and steal his privacy. He actually said that I don't know if he was joking or not. But I tend to hear ridiculous things during study hall. Breatharianism. People who believe in it believe that humans needing food is a lie and we can survive by meditating only. I know someone who believes in it and who claims we can absorb energy from sunlight or from food by meditating with your hands above it. That fluoride is in the water because it not only binds to teeth but also is visible from space. So satellites are able to see the fluoride and then match it to your dental records to track you. There are aborted fetuses in Pepsi and Mountain Dew. I was told this by a Pepsi addict who was anti-abortion. She told me she hated that she was drinking dead babies, but she was so addicted. I told her the dead babies are probably where the good flavor comes from and she slapped me in the face. Flat Earth and Moon Landing hoaxes, I mean. The sheer number of people who would have to be in on these conspiracies is mind-boggling, and none of them every blow the whistle. Lizard people are controlling my brain with fluoride, or the earth is flat, both are equally ridiculous. Antifa actually dressed up like Q people, and invaded the capital. This was backed up by images of the crazy animal hat guy showing up in certain places. It was bought hook, line and sinker by the cognitively dissonant sheep at the time. Proving there is no possible obstacle to cult rationalization. Imagine being a Trump supporter loud and proud. You think you're a hero for storming the capital to try and force them to let Trump win. You escape and get home. 
only to find your idol online using your picture as proof that it was an Antifa plot, then the police knock on your door for a chat. That the swabs for COVID tests are pre-coated with a virus, so anytime you're testing positive, it's the swab fats causing it. There are people who believe this, for real. I worked with a guy who was telling me his drunk neighbor walked around and was always saying that the reason they don't teach cursive in school anymore is because the Democrats don't want young people to be able to read the Constitution and know their rights. Apparently there was a conspiracy theory in Mexico that the pandemic was a hoax so insert Bojiman could murder people who go the hospital and harvest fluid from their knees. A guy I dated explained to me that, if you ask anyone to prove that they're conscious beings there's no way they could prove it, so therefore there is no way to prove that anyone around you is a conscious being w their own life and thoughts, so basically you're the only conscious being on earth. It went deeper than that, and had a name, but I can't remember it. I had a friend get into these types of thought experiments late in high school slash early in college. It was incredibly annoying, pragmatically, at some point you have to decide whether to treat other people as independent, conscious beings or as figments of your imagination, and you have to be as affidable Brax level narcissist to come to the conclusion that you're the only sentient being in the universe. Airplanes don't fly in straight lines. My sister believes the government manipulates the equipment which results in airplanes flying in circles. She was pretty upset when I told her she could get her pilot's license and fly a plane in a straight line herself if she really wanted to test the theory. A local supermarket chain did not have lanes for scan your own they only used actual people at the registers. There was an interview by the owner a few years earlier saying he was opposed to scan your own because it hurt the local job market. The owner of this chain was tragically killed in his personal vehicle at a traffic light by a delivery for the grocery chain. He was not the only victim. Two weeks later, scan your own lanes were installed. The driver of the truck who survived was never charged in the accident. The theory was floated that it wasn't an accident at all. Half of the ruling class is going to save us from the other half and institute justice for the rest of us within anybody's lifetime. It ain't the same as flat earth, for instance, but the number of people who believe it is wild. The satanic panic stuff from back in the 80s, it's crazy to me that there was a rampant belief back in the 80s that there was a coven of satanists on every street corner sacrificing babies by the hundreds of thousands in every town and city in the country. It's even crazier to me that most of the evidence of this came from alleged ex-satanists who claimed to be serial murderers during their tenure as satanists point, but were never arrested or investigated by law enforcement for their alleged rampant crimes which they claimed were still ongoing by covens. Secret space program people believe that a Nazi group split off from the Third Reich and discovered super advanced technology in Antarctica. They then moved to Mars and have been fighting reptilian and insectoid aliens using time travel and genetic super soldiers. Most of the members believe that they are part of this super soldier group and have been alive for hundreds of years. It's absolutely bonkers. I heard a dad tell his kids, if Obama was president in the 19th century, industrial revolution would never have happened. In fact we never would invented fire. Oddly progressive a black man could be president. It was followed up by how complex and smart machines were back in the day and everything is now junk and stupid and computers can't be trusted. Just like Obama. Then the kicker, it is why you can't go to school. Computers and technology. I looked for their horse and buggy. Luddites they were not. They each had cell phones. Needless to say, I wish I could shadow them for a week. That the US knew about the 9 over 11 attacks, and not only allowed them to happen, but assisted in the destruction of the WTC and Pentagon, in order to justify occupying the Middle East, in an effort to take control of big oil, and also make billions off weapons and weapon system distribution sold to our military from private companies that politicians hold stock in.